Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll configure Kafka producer and consumer in our Spring Boot application. Well, Spring Boot simplify a lot to configure Kafka producer and consumer in a Spring Boot application. Well, basically Spring Boot provides auto configuration to configure Kafka producer and consumer in our Spring Boot application. Okay, it means we don't have to write a Java configuration code to configure Kafka producer and consumer. Well, let's head over to the Spring Boot Kafka official documentation and let's explore how Spring Boot will simplify configuring Kafka producer and consumer. Well, let me just type Spring Kafka documentation like this and hit enter and just go ahead and click on first link that is Spring for Apache Kafka. All right, and go to the introduction section over here and here you can see so this is the dependency that we have added in order to integrate kafka in our spring application right so just scroll down and here you can see getting started section well if we don't use spring boot then we need to write a lot of configuration code for instance just scroll down and here you can see without spring boot we have to configure a lot of things like we, we have to configure Kafka template we have to configure producer factory okay so here you can see we need to configure consumer factory we need to you know set up consumer properties all right so without spring boot basically we need to write all this kind of you know boilerplate java configuration code but spring boot simplifies all these things okay so Spring Boot offers external properties that we can simply in our, use in our application.properties file to configure Kafka producer and consumer. Well, just remember without Spring Boot, we need to write a lot of you know configuration code to configure Kafka producer and consumer. For example, we need to configure consumer factory bin, we need to configure you know Kafka template, we need to configure producer factory. Alright, we need to create a lot of configuration code in order to configure Kafka producer and consumer if we don't use Spring Boot okay but Spring Boot simplifies all this configuration Spring Boot by default configure all these bins for us we don't have to write all this much of code in order to configure Kafka producer and consumer in our Spring Boot application okay I hope you understood well let's go back to IntelliJ IDEA and let's configure Kafka producer and consumer well let me go to the IntelliJ IDEA over here and let's go to the resources section and open application.properties file within application.properties file we are going to configure kafka broker server address as well as consumer and producer related configuration well let's type the property spring.kafka.consumer so first we'll configure consumer and then we'll configure producer spring.kafka.consumer.bootstrap hyphen servers so this property basically we use to configure all the apache kafka you know servers right now we have only one apache kafka broker which is running locally right so let's provide the value as localhost colon the port 9092 well right now we have only one kafka broker service which is running on local machine but let's say if we have multiple Kafka broker services running on your uh, you know cluster then what you need to do is you need to mention all those Kafka brokers you know separated by comma for example localhost colon 9092 comma localhost 9091 let's say if another Kafka broker is running on you know 9093 then you need to mention all these Kafka server addresses separated by comma here all right now we have only one Kafka broker service which is running on port 9092 next we need to configure consumer group just type the property spring dot kafka dot consumer dot group hyphen id so basically we need to provide a consumer group where the consumer is belongs to for example let's say my group well if you can head over to Kafka ecosystem diagram over here we, here we have a consumer group it consists of multiple consumers like consumer 1 consumer 2 consumer 3 
right so we have to mention the consumer group id in which the consumer is belongs to so in our case we are going to provide the unique group id that is my group all right i hope you understood the usage of this property right so we need to provide the you know consumer group id in which the consumer is belongs to next we need to configure offset for this consumer so just type the property spring dot kapka dot consumer dot auto hyphen offset hyphen reset and then let's provide a value as year list okay well we need to specify this property because this property specifies what to do when there is a no initial offset in a kafka or if the current offset does not exist anymore on the server and here we have provided a value earliest because it will automatically reset the offset to the earliest offset next we need to configure consumer key and value deserializer well just type the property spring dot kafka dot consumer dot key deserializer and the value is org dot apache dot kafka dot common dot serialization dot string deserializer well we are using string deserializer class from kafka library to deserialize a key in a message so similarly we need to use deserializer class to deserialize a value in a message right so let me simply copy this property and let me paste it over here and let me change from key to value all right so we are going to basically use string deserializer class from apache kafka library to deserialize a value in a message okay next we will configure a producer well we are going to again use spring boot provided properties in order to configure apache kafka producer well just type the property spring dot kafka dot producer dot bootstrap hyphen servers colon localhost 9092 so for producer also we are using the same apache kafka broker service right which is running on port 9092 next we need to configure a serializer class for key and value in a producer as well just type the property spring dot kafka dot producer dot key hyphen serializer colon and then org dot apache dot kafka dot common dot serialization dot string serializer so instead of deserializer we are going to use string serializer class in order to serialize the key in a message so simply hit enter so i'm going to copy this and paste it over here in order to configure a serializer class to serialize a value in a message right and instead of key just you know type the value here now we have configured serializer you know classes to serialize key and value in a message this is pretty much it so this is how basically we configure kafka producer and consumer in our spring boot application using spring boot provided external properties okay this is awesome right we don't have to write a lot of configuration code in order to configure kafka producer and consumer in our spring boot application spring boot will automatically provide a lot of auto configuration okay so we have to just use the external properties in order to configure kafka producer and consumer all right now let's go ahead and let's run the spring boot application and let's verify whether this configuration works properly or not so let me run the spring boot application let me go to main entry point class and from here i am going to run the spring boot application and there we go spring boot application is running on embedded tomcat server on port 8080 it means this configuration that is kafka producer and consumer configuration in application dot properties file you know is working as expected all right great i will see you in the next lecture